I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Okay, so I possibly just made a big mistake and ended up buying a storage unit online. Now, you don't have to bid in person. You can, I guess there's storage units you can bid in person, uh, like on TV. But this one was an online auction. So I bid, uh, I've never done this before. Uh, I've gotta to go tomorrow morning first thing, 9 a.m. to pick it up. It was 460 bucks. So it's a long ways to go to get to profit. Uh, it's a five by five unit, so not really big but let's hope that there's something inside of these bins to make it worthwhile. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a real <laughs> not staged uh, storage unit. So I'll show you the kind of stuff you actually get inside of a storage unit by clearing this one out tomorrow morning. So uh, next time you see me, it'll be in uh, different clothes as I'm on my way to the storage auction. So it's the next morning. Uh, my son, Steven is coming with me, my oldest, or as I like to call him the big one, unless his brother grows bigger, but right now he's the big one. Uh, we are going to pick up that storage unit this morning. Hopefully I didn't make a horrible mistake. There's a strong possibility that I did. We're gonna load up in the old ambulance because it's got the most room and go pick some cool stuff up, hopefully. So we've never bought a storage unit before. Uh, so I have no idea. What do you think is gonna be inside of it? A human. A human? That's really morbid, Steven. <laughs> So what do you hope might be inside of this unit? Not tools or bicycles. Uh, well, there's definitely at least one bicycle, because I saw that in the picture. But, um, I don't know, we'll go see, we'll go find out. So you always see on TV when they're doing these uh, storage auction type shows, um, there'll be nothing, it'll be like a dirty mattress, a box, and then in the corner there's like, oh, uh, a pirate treasure chest full of gold, or like, some old pistol or something. So I'm not sure that those shows are entirely true. You'd hope so. If we find something like that today, I will believe them. I'm expecting mainly household stuff or things we can sell at the auction. But uh, I'm hoping more than anything that we at least get our money back on buying this unit. So first time we've ever done this, possibly the last if it's a bust. We are here at the storage yard. So what you have to do is go into the office and pay for your unit. And they go unlock it and you see what you got. So it's an inside unit. Doesn't really help too much. It's still freezing cold in here. It's not heated. And we are looking for our number to come up here. There it is. Hey, you wanna you wanna open it up, Steven? Maybe the first one to open it. This one right here. You gotta pull it from the bottom. So this is now all of our junk to go through. So, I'm gonna start unpacking. So, at first glance, there's a decent looking mountain bike. Not, not too bad. There's a fan. There's a little lawn chair or cooler. And a box of baby diapers. Oh, yeah, let's hope that's not full of actual diapers. That would really suck. But what intrigued me about this unit is that the, the guy had stored stuff in plastic bins. Um, and usually if you're gonna invest in keeping special things safe. You put it in a plastic bin or something a little bit nicer. So we are going to uh, dig through and see what we have. So not a bad men's bicycle, good condition, probably worth, you know, 120, 150 bucks, something like that. Brand new, would be a few hundred, but it's in really good shape. Probably still about a $150 bike. We have household stuff, so some Tupperware, little clock radio. This might end up going to Goodwill. Nothing too fancy there. Computer keyboard. World of Warcraft. Maybe this guy was a gamer. Maybe we'll come across a video game system. giant hand hammered tacks. I could probably use those for something. That's pretty cool. This 
one says ornaments. <coughs> Wrapped in paper. Probably glass. Oh, they're just decorative, but they're these are 1950s until they uh, they're made in Japan. They're worth you know like five, ten bucks each. So if there's you know ten of these things in here, that's about a hundred bucks right there. You know, to the right person. We'll go through those a little bit better at the shop. This top one off. I'm not super excited to look through the diaper box. <laughs> This might be paperwork. We might leave this behind. Oh! Trading cards are these Warcraft. I have to look into these and see if they are collectible. So second box here, we've got some paperwork, but we have some Warcraft sets, collector's edition sets. So we'll have to do a little bit of research. This guy was obviously into Warcraft and into gaming, and some of this stuff can be pretty collectible. And I see there's a couple box sets in here. So, might get some good money back on these. Yeah, there's all kinds of books on it. Oh, actually, look at this. A whole set of cards. Warcraft cards. Mm. So there might be some good money just in all these uh, Warcraft collectibles that we ended up getting. And the, the good thing is, if he was a collector, there might be some other cool stuff in here, too. Because sometimes people who collect one thing end up collecting multiple things. So, uh, so far, lots of Warcraft stuff. So with this unit being the former property of a video gamer, there's a possibility there could be a really high-end laptop or computer in here, too. So, lots more bins to go through. I'm going to let Steven do a little digging now. Okay, Steven, what do you got? Uh... Office supplies. Office supplies. Um, Nothing too exciting. Yeah, that's. Well, we, we'll have to go through these a little bit more Ew, carefully. We used lint roller. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just touched that. That's all right. Uh, and what's in this other box? Okay. Oh, cool. There's a laser pointer. Dibs on that. Okay. Um. It's probably the Tupperware. Nope. Oh, it's a remote control car. Remote control car. Bonus. Yeah. So far, just found a few collectible things. Well, there's some Jack Daniel tins, some kitchen stuff. So this might be a uh, desktop basketball games, little odds and ends. We will go through each and every one of these. Uh, yeah, measure. That's a good measuring tape, actually. A decent little measuring tape. We'll go through some of the boxes. I'm hoping there's more collectibles. Huh, I have a hint of what's in there. Hey, Steven, I think this guy might have had a drinking problem. You know why? Because hmm. this box is full of wicker. Yuck, wow. yuck, yuck. He must have hit an all-night wicker store. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, all jokes aside, that's a Henkel knife block set. Henkel is one of the higher-end brands of knives. This is, was probably a $200 set of knives when he got it. Uh, that's actually a good knife block. Heated seat cushion. Well, if you've been following my antics, you know my Volkswagen van does not have the best heater in it, so that might actually come in handy for the van. You wanna put that on the cart? So I'm gonna drag the plastic bins outside. It's pretty frosty and chilly inside the storage unit. So we're gonna take these guys out and dig through them outside. Oh, water cooler's in there. That's Probably about a hundred bucks new, something like that. There it is, all emptied. Close that down. So do you know what these are, Stephen? Roll bars for a truck? No, actually that's a really good guess. Yeah, these would go on the, the pickup bed. You bolt them on and then you can put ladders, work stuff on top and increase the capacity of your cargo area. They're probably, you know, at least three, four hundred bucks when you buy them new. These might do okay at auction, so that might be our money back almost on the unit right there. You got it? 
We are digging through some of the stuff out here, but it's getting close. Uh, we have to open the store in about an hour, so we might have to dig through some of this stuff when we get back. But a quick look so far. Looks to be a unused fondue pot. So we got a, I'm sure your sister would like that. She's a sucker for chocolate fondue. So we'll see if mom wants to keep any of this stuff. What do you think Abigail would say about that? I know what I'd say about this. Yeah. Fine. Brand new socket set. That's a good one too. It's over a hundred dollars right there. Put it in with the rest of it. I found this print in there. It is signed by the artist. It's a limited edition print. Ghost of the Wilderness by June Payne Hart. To do a little bit of research on her and see what they go for. So we have to uh, clear out of here in a hurry because I have a couple pit stops to make before we open the store and we open in about 45 minutes. So uh, my son Steven and I, Steven's helped me out at the store today. Uh, are going to head back to the shop and when there's downtime we'll go through some of these boxes but this might even be a tonight when we get home sort of thing just because uh, it's packed you can't even see out the back window that's all boxes and bins back there it's surprising how much stuff people can get inside of a five by five unit but she's pretty packed um not seeing any major treasures so far but i think those warcraft collector cards and sets might be where the money's at on this unit so far, again, a really big stack of Warcraft cards, collectibles, video games, all that kind of stuff. I was going through the box here. Food safety code of practice. And I'm guessing this kitchen failed since the corner is gnawed off by mice. That's pretty gross. That's going in the trash. Notice this little pouch in here. So we've unzipped it and there's a watch inside. What brand is it though? Looks like it's going to need a battery. Maybe not a super high-end watch, but it's a watch nonetheless. So what we're doing right now is kind of going through some of these boxes and separating out um, what is sellable, what is goodwill we're going to donate, and what is just plain trash. So a little bit of sorting to do, and if there's anything that's um, kind of personal for this fellow, we will return it to the storage yard so that they can give it back to him at some point because there are some personal documents and things like that we want to make sure that those go back to the guy but um yeah so far finding a few treasures uh hopefully we'll get our money back so far the only real thing that we found of any age are these giant upholstery tacks which uh, he must have ordered online at some point from somewhere but these are you know i can sell these out of the shop that's all right and this is kind of cool although it's decorative as far as I can tell, I don't believe that's actually an old lock. It is kind of neat. It's got the keys hanging off of it. That's a nice little display piece right there. Now this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but some of these Warcraft cards, as we're going through and looking at prices online, the collector sets can be worth about $1,000 to $3,000 each if they're sealed, plus all the cards we got in the binder. I mean, there's literally thousands of these cards in here. I feel that, um, the realistic price of what this stuff is worth. Uh, and there's uh, some cards called loot cards in here, which apparently are pretty rare. Here I am talking about stuff that I thought was maybe fake when you watch uh, reality TV shows and then we find something uh, ridiculously good in a storage unit today. So uh, we still have to go through a lot of the stuff at the house and do a final tally by the end. But so far things are looking way up on this deal. Okay, so I got home with Steven. He's inside the house. We're emptying some of the things out of the car, but my wife, Melissa, came out. And what did you find so far, sweetie? So far, we found uh, Hankel's knife set. Yeah, and I don't think that one's being sold. You're keeping that, right? Oh, yeah. That's coming home. <laughs> she heard there was some uh, kitchen stuff in here, so she decided to come check things out. Sorry, whoever wants this. <laughs> well, as long as you do, that's the important <laughs> thing. So as she looks at her knife set, I am examining the bike, which I think I'm going to give this to Steven. He helped me out today and he's about due for a big kid bike and this one's in just about brand new condition so um it might be worth maybe a couple hundred bucks but the value is going to be zero because it's going to my son this was a box that i thought was mostly clothing there's a little shelf in here which i don't know might bring 10 20 bucks if i'm lucky power bars which i can always use those around the store some hooks and what looks like maybe a little toolbox if i can reach it Maybe this is where they kept the severed human head. No, the diamonds. The diamonds. Uh, you're... Oh, it's a sewing kit. Close. We were both close. Um, 
Here, I'll see. Yeah, well, needle and thread and stuff like that. Well, let's see if this bin gets any better. Well, I don't know if it got better, but things got a little bit more waffle. Wow. <laughs> it was a waffle maker. <laughs> Do we have a use for a waffle maker or should it go? Uh, I think it can go. It can go? Let's see if there's a free waffle inside. Mmm, oh, it's empty. That's a raw deal. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much nothing is going to end up coming to the auction. We have like five things, six things. Like I said, nothing out of this entire car full of stuff. <laughs> Well, uh, there's still lots to go. That was a bill. American? Oh, look! We're saved! It's one trillion dollars! <laughs> <laughs> look, honey, this unit paid for itself. We're rich. We're gonna go to the bank right now. <laughs> some movies. It's got some weight to it. Sounds like change. Do you want to open it up, sweetie? Sure. Okay, let's see what's in there. Oh, that's, uh, that's not change. It sounded like change. Well, we can still check this out. Sometimes these things are actual silver or gold. Is it all like collector spoons? <laughs> it's funny. It is okay. all. Well, we'll drag them in the house, see if there's anything worthwhile in there. And so what have you found? So far, some spring form pans. Yep. Flower sifters, some baking pans. They look like they're in good shape. Yeah, they're... They like almost like new. I think they might be new. Wow, that's not good for us. We're gonna be eating a lot more. <laughs> and we were looking through this box and although we don't need it, there's a pressure cooker or a crock pot, I guess, but it's Edmonton Oilers branded. That's kind of cool. How often do you see a licensed NHL crock pot? The official crock pot wow. of the Edmonton Oilers. That'll be going up for auction. We're gonna start separating out what is going to auction and what is going to goodwill at this point. My wife, I think, has already scavenged as much as she wants out of there. Um, so now it's our turn to start thinking about making some money off of this stuff. So that's what I'm going to do, empty things out and start sorting. And this is the pile of stuff that we are not planning on keeping. So this will all find a new home, whether we sell it off or whether it goes, goes to a charity. So we're going to start digging through and making up a list of all the stuff that's going to auction. I thought those were just rubber boots, but as I take this out, it's actually hip waders for fishing. You can go right into the river with these guys. So um, they actually look like they're in almost new condition. They're a little bit dusty from being in the box, but those will be good for someone. I'll have to check with my mother-in-law and see if maybe they can use those out at the farm. So the stuff I'm gonna donate is in the back of the van. We're gonna load that up and take that into the charity today and all the rest is going to auction. So uh, aside from a few things we pulled out for ourselves, a pretty good haul of stuff. Time will tell now, once we put it through the auction, whether we'll actually make money on this whole ordeal or not. Either way, we ended up pulling out probably an equal amount of stuff but we wouldn't have normally gone out and bought a knife block and a bicycle and all that stuff just on a whim today but uh, that's what ended up happening so I'm gonna run everything through auction and we'll do a follow-up and see how everything went so I've come back to the storage unit it's a couple days later um, there was some personal paperwork and some things that belong to the gentleman that uh, lost the unit um, I am making sure that he gets his private paperwork back and anything that seemed like it was personal to him uh, I've talked to the storage unit here and they've agreed to call the guy so he can come pick it up. So nothing I need and I'd rather give it back to him than, uh, than throw it out. Now just to take all this stuff into the auction house and wait till the weekend to see what it all goes for. not been for finding the collector cards which realistically are maybe worth four or five hundred bucks that'll get our money back on the unit we wouldn't have been up on that unit at all so i don't think we're going to be in the uh, buying and selling of storage unit business i don't think there's much money to be made the household stuff just really isn't worth a whole lot but it was a fun experience i hope you guys like watching if you like our little videos make sure to hit that subscribe button we do all kinds of crazy stuff um this we thought we'd give this a try uh, you can check us out online at uh, curiosityedmonton.ca. We're on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, those are the places where you're going to see some of the products that we sell. Um, stay in touch with us, and we do write back and forth. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you all soon, and have a great day. Bye for now.